eight do's and don'ts for new leaders. This is the second do lay out a strategy and clear milestones. So one of the biggest things that gets in the way for new leaders is that they're trying to do everything, trying to do it at once, they haven't prioritized, and you haven't figured out what adds the most value and where you can really bring a return on investment from your leadership. And instead, what happens is you become overly concerned with all of the operational things that are concerning others or with the pressures from the board, and you're not actually thinking about where you can bring and add value and create change within the organization. So the second part of the eight do's and don'ts for new leaders is actually do lay out a strategy and really clear milestones. And sometimes you're gonna to need to do this with a leadership coach, or you're gonna to need to do this internally with your own coach inside of the organization, but really being clear about your strategy and the milestones sets you apart from that kind of floundering that first happens when you fall into a leadership position.